Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. You weren't expecting somebody this handsome, I know. Speech is streaming. Unfortunately, Let's Mr. Serena the audience is preoccupied deserve. with as many duties necessary to ensure we maintain control over our path. Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. Bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. It was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. What the hell is this? Device drain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. When Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. 
seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for?
Fuck me. That was hardcore. Target has been lost. Over. Which way is Amon's office? Guessing this isn't the usual employee route. Dr. Amaral's office must be close. Nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. <sighs> nice job, Beth. That's Emerald's office. The Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. That there looks like what Beth wanted. Oh, shit. Emerald's at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken from Dr. Amaral's office was, uh, is much lighter. Almost like a civilian model. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this place.
All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. Engage! Somebody's here! That's Jack Joyce, isn't he supposed to be Start locked searching! Up? What Contact. the fuck? Alert! Oh, shit. All personnel. Jack Joyce is in custody and is not present at the R and D facility garage. Repeat, Jack Joyce has escaped custody. All I had to do was make it through the garage. Seems simple enough. Talking about. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Amaral's at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Want to be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, Weenie. I'll make my way there. You see, Hash getting shot at was an insider job. They create a window for us. Serena's with her. Remember what we said? Beth, HQ, I've got company. I'll see you at the party. Great.
That's the last of them. for choice ASAP. Monarch Actual is moving in to intercept. Monarch 5, just spotted him entering the tunnel system outside the party grounds. Huh. Again. Alright, that's it. I could see the mansion where the gala was. I had to find a way to get there. I could see the energy field of another Monarch Chronon damper. It would drain my powers. I'd have to find a way to shut it off. You were headed for the party. What was your plan? I needed to get to Dr. Amaral before the stutter ended and Monarch found out I was coming.
should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. Best way to avoid blame? We grab her. There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. Oh shit! Drone! It's in the wrong place at the wrong time. Literally. Jack, Dr. Amaral's in there. We need to get her out before time comes back. Before time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor.
Went to all this trouble to grab her. Beth, I'm counting on you to keep her alive. Visual. Make my own way out. My plan was simple. There's a bridge to the mainland. Fight my way through anything Monarch could throw at me and steal a car. Drive it back to the swimming pool. Just remember, we need your ass alive for the next part. We'll see how it shakes out. Go check it out! No way!
with Beth and Dr. Emmer all clear, it was time for me to get gone. For that, I need wheels. Valley parking. Beloved by car thieves ever. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Morton, how is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Easy, you're. They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Amaral doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. 
If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started, the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop, and no matter what I do, Time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 no! Put one of those on! And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? 
Not in the Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But you'd be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. You see, what's so scary about God? Isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. We'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. Better get to it. Yeah. 